The price of Ethereum is sitting around $4,200 per coin right now. And every single day I'm making around about $140 per day by mining Ethereum and then selling it for a profit. And in this video, I wanna show you exactly how you can actually go and set up to mine Ethereum. Now, a couple of months ago, I went and did a video on how I make $100 per day mining Ethereum. And everybody wanted to actually see a full tutorial on how they could set this up so they could go out and make money by doing this and actually going and mining this cryptocurrency. Now, if you don't understand what this is, essentially you use the graphics card from your computer or a mining rig and you mine these cryptocurrency coins, specifically in this tutorial, Ethereum, and then you can actually sell that for money. It's kind of like passive income and you can make money every single day by actually doing this. Now, this is gonna be a super quick tutorial, perfect for beginners with no confusing coding and you can have this done and set up in 10 minutes. The biggest problem with tutorials on how to mine Ethereum Ethereum is that a lot of them require complicated stuff, doing all this crazy stuff that even I don't understand sometimes. And I found the best way that's really easy, beginner friendly, and this tutorial on mining Ethereum will show you exactly how you can go and get set up right now within 10 minutes to mine Ethereum. So make sure you stay tuned. And we're gonna get into this tutorial, but before we do that, if you're new to my channel, we give away access to my courses every single video. What you've gotta do is smash that like button, and then once you've smashed that like button, find the emoji in this video. Once you find that emoji, comment below what that emoji is, and we will pick some winners for the next video. So if you wanna win access to every single one of my courses, make sure you do that for a chance to win. Now let's get into this tutorial and I wanna show you exactly how you can get set up quickly within 10 minutes to start mining Ethereum so you could sell it for money online. All right guys, so the first step is very simple. You wanna to go to Google and put in the best Ethereum wallets and then click on this link here or one of these other links down here. And these will give you the best Ethereum wallets. Now you need a wallet to store your Ethereum in. Let me explain to you a couple of things here. The uh, Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Nano S, these are called hardware wallets and these will hold your coins offline so they are a lot safer. Um, these are more advanced, but I would recommend getting one of these at some stage if you don't have them already. If you want to hold your coins, on, and this is also a hardware um, wallet as well. Now, if you wanna actually hold your coins on your desktop and on your mobile, this is a great wallet here called Atomic Wallet. Now with the Ledger and um, stuff like that, the more safer options, you can also view your coins on your desktop, but your coins are on the blockchain and stuff, so it's a lot um, safer and harder for people to get your coins if you have one of these. But to keep this tutorial simple, just go and download a desktop and mobile wallet if you are new to this. And this is what we're gonna use to get our um, Ethereum address, okay? So you need some sort of wallet where you can get your coins sent to from your mining machine, um, however you're mining it, whether you're mining it with a single GPU or with a mining rig. Now I would recommend staying away from this wallet. I've had trouble with it in the past, with it getting hacked. I don't know if they've fixed it yet, but I lost around about $50,000 worth of coins in this wallet some time ago. Now let's move on to the next step. Go and find yourself a wallet to download. If you're a complete beginner and you don't have one yet, I recommend the Atomic Wallet for now. And then to be more safe for later on when you've got some more money, buy a Ledger Nano for a safer option. The next step is you want to go to minerstat.com um, forward slash hardware forward slash GPUs. And what you can do is you can see how much money you will make per day from your graphics card. Now, I'm running eight of these and I make around about $100 per day because I have eight, so 18 times eight. In my currency, it's about $150 per day. So go and find your graphics card, your GPU in the list here, and then you will see exactly how much you'll make on average every single day from one card, okay? Very simple to do. And all you've got to do is times it, this number by how many cards you have. So if you have a mining rig, for example, that's running um, eight 3090s, which I doubt you would because these are very rare, you would make $35 per day times eight, okay? Very simple equation to work out. So this price is for one card, just times it by the amount of cards that you have to get the total amount of money that you would make per day mining Ethereum. Now the next step, you wanna head over to minerstat.com and you wanna scroll down and there's two things you wanna do. 
Number one, you first wanna download the Windows mining software. Okay, so click on this and download the software. Now, mine is not gonna download because I'm on a Mac, but go download Miner Stat. Download this and then install it on your computer, but don't start it yet because you don't need it right now. Now, the next step is you wanna go back to MinerStat.com and you wanna go to Get Started. And what you wanna do is you wanna create an account, follow the steps and create your account. And I'll come back in a second and you can choose a light version or a dark version. All right, I've just created my account. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna hover over the right here and there's gonna be an access key. You wanna copy this access key down because this is the access key you will need to log in every single time, okay? You will need this access key. Now, it is free to have one worker and to get started mining. You can upgrade if you want, but you don't need to upgrade. Go to add new worker. What you wanna do is you wanna name your worker. You can name it whatever you want. You wanna choose the type of graphics card that you have. I'm gonna use, um, use NVIDIA. And then the system that you have, um, MS OS or Windows. And then you just wanna leave everything like that and you wanna to go to add worker. This is literally the best way to set all this up because it's all done for you. It's very simple to do. Now, you can, um, so you've got your access key here. You can download the software here if you want, if you haven't done it already, but we've already done it, so we don't need to actually do that. Now, the next step is to go to, um, let's go to address editor first. We're gonna do things around, the, around a different way, but go to address editor, okay? And I'm going to just um, leave, Leave all of this like this. You shouldn't need to change anything because it automatically populates you with the best mining pools here. So for the pool section, just leave this like this. For the wallet section though, you wanna go up to wallet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all of these addresses just to keep this simple so we have this nice and clean, okay? All right, so in your wallet that you have downloaded, I'm not gonna show you um, because I haven't downloaded one, but you will have an address that you can send your Ethereum to. You can create an address. Once you have that address, edit this here and simply just put in the address that you were given. Okay, I'm just going to change this to a different number here and then I'm going to go save. And then once you choose save, the donation tab will go away and your address will be in here. Now you will need to create your own address from your wallet. Once you've done that, put it in here and then click save. That is all you need to do at this section. The next section, you want to go to worker configuration. Okay, and what you wanna do is make sure everything is the same as what I have in here. You don't need to do any of these things, like you don't need to overclock your GPU, you don't need to do profit switching, that's for advanced stuff. You wanna go down and make sure this is on here. What this software does is it populates you with the most common mining pools and everything ready so you don't actually need to do anything. So leave this as it is, go down, make sure it's on um, simple, you, the advance is the same anyway, but make sure it's on simple. Make sure it's on this here, ETH, and then ETH cash. You can simply find that by um, typing in here, and it's right there. But make sure it looks exactly like this. And then make sure the mining pool is this one here, ETH, EU, ETHMine.org, um, 14444. Okay, but just make sure it's the same as that. And then on the wallet, all you do is choose the wallet address that we put in, okay? And that's all I've got here. And then that's that. And then if you want to, you can put in your electricity cost, okay? So for example, you might pay, I don't know, 0 0.2 cents per um, kilowatt or whatever you want. So if you want, find out how much it costs you um, for your electricity, and then you can figure out, uh, and you can put it in here, and this mining software will, uh, will take that out of the calculation. Um, so you can see your pure profit. So for mine, it takes out around about $6 per day. But in this case, we're just gonna leave that because we don't need to do that. And then just click Save Changes. And then what we wanna do is we, there's a few things, so there's a few extra things here. You can go like Mining Calculator where you can go and calculate. This takes you back to where we were before. And there's a few other things. Now, this is actually all you need to do to, st to get started, okay? That's all you need to do. Now. All you need to do is you then need to go and start the software on your computer. Just start it up and it'll automatically start. And then the little green thing here will come on when it shows it online. So if, if you go to Worker, all the stats will come up. And what I'll do is I'll log into mine right now and I'll show you an example. All right, so when you actually start to run it for a few hours, you'll start to get some more information like this. Like I said, just follow the steps that I've done in this video and then simply open up the software on your computer and it will start doing everything for you. You don't need to touch anything. 
And what will happen is you'll see that the little green icon here will be on and you can click on worker and it's got all the information that you need. So it shows literally everything, how much I'm making per day, the amounts of watts that I'm using and all that sort of stuff and the pool and everything. And then it's got all of my cards here. Don't worry if some of them have low efficiency, that's actually quite normal, but I have eight cards running here. It tells you everything, the temperature, how much your fans are running, I probably need to turn that down. All of the information that you actually need. It's got temperature down here, it's got fans, it's got pa your power consumption, and then it's got your hash rate, okay? Now, this will not show up straight away, it might take a day or two for this information to show up, but I wanna show you something um, else. Go to um, balance monitoring, now, if this option is not there for you, it should show up after a few days or it might be in the upgrade, I can't remember, but this is how you can check your balance. So what you, what you wanna do is go to add new pool and you wanna choose the pool that you're in and the standard one is gonna be the um, Ethermine EH, which is the standard one that we're running. And then you wanna put in your um, wallet address right here, okay? And then go add pool. And then what it's gonna actually do is after a few days, so let me just um, get rid of this. Once you add it, after a few days, it's gonna, uh, it'll just have this here, but after a few days, it'll have this last update section and you can click this button, view pool. And what this will do is this will show you all the information on the actual address. So you can see the payouts. This is a new address that we've put in. It's got the payouts. We get paid out every uh, eight days. We just got paid out today. Um, and it shows you all the information based on your address okay and that's how you can um check it and then it's got my my hash rate here it's got all of the information here that i need to see uh, i can see my worker down here so this is a very good um place to go and actually find information on your address and to see if it's working and stuff like that and you do that by going down to a balance monitoring and just doing what I showed you. And that guys is how you can go out and set up Ethereum mining so you can actually go and make money online by doing this. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, I have eight graphics cards, so that's why I'm making $100 per day. You probably won't make that. You'll probably make around about 20 bucks with a standard card, but it is a good little way to go and make some money and you can easily set it up without any complicated coding within five to 10 minutes, just like I showed you in this video. If you want more tutorials on how you can make money online I will leave some videos up on the screen that will show you some of the best ways to make money online with my favorite method affiliate marketing don't forget to subscribe and any questions leave me know in the comments below